Chief Creative Officer, Senior Visual Effects Supervisor of Industrial Light and Magic. Thank you so much for joining Certainly. us here, sir. Taking a couple minutes. Your career at ILM, which is an amazing one, you've had your hands on so many amazing movies, uh, started kind of interestingly. There's something about a uh, medical conference with your dad? Uh, yeah, about a year after uh, Star Wars came out, so it was in uh, May of 1978. Um, you know, I grew up in Ann Arbor, Michigan, so mm. this is this is not my home. Yeah. Um, my dad had a uh, Society of Nuclear Medicine conference that was actually right here in the Anna Anaheim Convention Center, mm -hmm. and they brought my brothers and I along. So, uh, you know, a year after Star Wars came out, age 15, I'd been thinking of um, uh, that entertainment industry might be uh, a different career path yeah. uh, than I had been previously thinking. And in the hotel room, probably about a mile from here, picked up a phone book and just out of curiosity, I looked to see if Industrial Light and Magic was listed. <laughs> sure enough, it was, found a number. Wow. Uh, I called, I got a hold of Grant McCune, who was the head of the model shop mm -hmm. at the time. And I told him I was a model maker and I was interested in working in the industry. And he said, well, why don't you come on down and we'll show you around. So the next morning, um, before uh, my dad's first uh, uh, event at the, the conference, he drove me all the way up to Van Nuys, which, wow. you know, that's a yeah. pretty good drive from here. Drove me up, dropped me off, um, and then came and picked me up um, at about 4 o'clock in the afternoon. So I spent an entire day at ILM. You just call up ILM and you're like, hey, man, can I come by? And they're like, yeah, it's, sure. It is a different time. Yeah, it yes. sounds like your dad just pulls up and gives you a sack lunch and is like, okay, go have fun at ILM. I mean, it, it's kind of <laughs> like it, that's what it was. I, it was a much more casual uh, time then. Uh, Lauren Peterson uh, mm -hmm. toured me around. Wow. And I went to Dailies in the morning and uh, I saw them. They just them showed you. They oh, just was, showed you Dailies. It was fantastic. <laughs> yeah, they were working on the original Battlestar Galactica TV show. Do you, know, do you know that I heard that, uh, that a man mysteriously disappeared because he saw one still from the Force Awakens trailer mm -hmm. and just disappeared forever? But you were watching Dailies. You were yeah. just watching Dailies back then. It's crazy to think how much it's changed. Well, yeah, there's a, quite a climate of, um, of people wanting to keep things uh, under wraps, not, not to have spoilers out there. Sure. And in the age of the Internet and uh, electronic communication, smartphones in everybody's pocket, yeah. it's really a very different situation. Yeah, yeah. Now, it, aside from your career in, in visual effects, you are also the uh, co-creator, along with your brother, of Photoshop, Yes. which is amazing. Did you, did you ever think when you were creating that, that it would become this all-in-one design tool? Like, it's almost impossible to do anything digitally without Photoshop now. Uh, well, we had a lot of confidence in it. We mm -hmm. thought uh, that, that there was going to be this amazing, terrific thing that people were just going to love. Mm -hmm. I had no idea it was going to get to the scale that it, it has it would become a verb that uh, I would hear references in popular culture. Yeah. Oh yeah, that looks like that's been photoshopped. That still is a little startling to hear so those things. So fascinating. Yeah, I believe it. I, I gotta ask you. You have worked on so many different things. So many of my favorite movies. I mean, you were you were on The Abyss. You were on the the Pirates of the Caribbean movies. Mm -hmm. uh, most recently, you were on. Uh, uh, I just blanked because I've been up uh, here for four and a half Mission hours. Impossible 4, Mission Pacific Rim. Pacific Rim, yeah. thank you. Most recently, you were on Pacific Rim, which I absolutely love. Is there any movie that kind of just holds a special place in your heart? Like, that was the one. That was the one that was the most fun, or that was the one that I'm the most proud of. Uh, I'm really proud of the work that we did on the Pirates of the Caribbean movies. <laughs> uh, Davy Jones um, Oh, my gosh. Was, I think that turned out really well. You know, I look back at that work and, you know, on most films, um, you know, you're trying to approximate an image that you have in your head and you, you achieve it to different levels of success. I feel like we got 100% of the way there. Mm -hmm. I look back at that work and there's nothing that I would change at this point. Oh, and I just love it because it's so emblematic. The, the Daily J Davy Jones and his crew are so emblematic of sort of this evolution, right? Where, where it becomes, it was all practical effects, and then for a while it was, it was all kind of more digital for the characters, like entirely digital. But there was this beautiful blending with the crew, 
mm -hmm. that, that was sort of makeup and costumes and CGI that just is sort of the best sort of both worlds to me. No, sort of? Uh, yeah, Bootstrap, Bill is a practical makeup, but okay. uh, Davy Jones and all his crew are all CG. Just all, entirely? Yeah, there's no, yeah, That's it's all so CG. fascinating to me. What, what kind of feeling do you get being here at Celebration? And just walking around, I mean, there are characters that you worked on here. Everybody, like, people are dressed yeah. as them. People are wearing them. People are, like, it must be crazy. Oh, yeah. They, the enthusiasm is, is fantastic. You know, we're, we have our offices up in San Francisco. And, mm -hmm. um, you know, it's a nice, quiet little group. And, uh, and we all have a good time. But, uh, you know, you occasionally see the impact that the work that gets done there has on the rest of the world, uh, the joy that it brings to people. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's energizing and fantastic. Anything you are particularly looking forward to seeing or, or experiencing mm. here this weekend? Uh, actually, uh, Gareth and Josh are doing uh, an anthology panel yeah. on Sunday. Uh, I'm gonna go watch that here the reactions to uh, what they have to say. Awesome, yeah, ton of great panels here That's this weekend. That's one not to miss, by That's, the way. Do not yeah. miss no, that no, one. It's... John Knoll says not to miss it, and that means you do not miss it. John, thank you so much for coming by. Certainly. We really appreciate it. We're gonna have so many of the panels this weekend and so many more interviews here on the stage, so be sure to keep it on Star Wars Celebration 2015 Live, powered by Verizon on StarWars.com.